Oh, finally, it's the last game of the year for the fe- uh, I I'm sorry, oh god, it's the last game of the year, and then we have to wait till September. Boo-hoo! Oh my gosh, why? What's going on, Falcons fans? Logan here. Welcome back to Rise Up Rundown. And if you're new here, welcome. So, the Atlanta Falcons are about to have their final uh, game of the 2022 season. Uh, but at the same time, it's not really all that sad because, I mean, we didn't even have a good year anyway and we were eliminated. But regardless of how our season plays out, we're probably always going to feel at least a little bit of sadness that this is the last game. Hopefully the Falcons can get their first ever win to Tom Brady. But uh, besides all of that, there is obviously a lot of questions for this team heading into the offseason. And some people are already questioning Desmond Ritter. Uh, Falcons fans seem to be pretty optimistic in him, but every other NFL fan doesn't really seem to like believe in him all that much. Which, you know, I guess is like sort of justified. Like, you know, he hasn't really played great or anything. I, I guess I get it. And they also just haven't really been watching the games as closely as Falcons fans. Uh, but we'll talk a little more about how I feel about Desmond Ritter, Desmond Ritter in just a second. Uh, and so with all this, you know, quarterback questioning from some NFL fans and some Falcons fans, uh, should the Atlanta Falcons bring back Matt Ryan? Because it's looking like it's pretty obvious he's not going to return to the Colts. Uh, I think Matt Ryan actually does like to be in Atlanta and play for the Falcons. I don't think he would necessarily not like to be back. Uh, and so, you know, he, he he's still obviously, very obviously familiar with the Atlanta Falcons system. Uh, and he's played with Arthur Smith before. Um, and the, the, the nostalgic feel from the fans would be there. Uh, but is it right to bring him back? No, literally hell no. I don't think you bring him back. For one thing, this just reminds me of Cam Newton to the Panthers. I think it was last year. Uh, like, what? it's like a cool, cute little nostalgic feel for your fan base. But what was it, what, what's it really going to do for your team? Like, this leads to the next thing. He's very obviously not the same. He's aging not like fine wine, uh, as far as football goes. Uh, <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, like, he'll have his moments. I don't think he's terrible, per se. He's not terrible, per se, but the dude has been benched two times. Uh, and I get that the Colts are, like, a weird team right now, especially with who they have as interim head coach and all, but... But still, though, like... If you're getting benched twice, I don't think it's just because your team is weird. Like, I think, obviously, how you play does affect that. The, the Matt Ryan, early on of 2022, couldn't really score at all for the Colts. You could tell he was a little washed, and he still kind of is. Well, I mean, you know, I, and I mean no disrespect, but I just don't think he's the same player he once was. Um, I also don't think that he fits Arthur Smith's system. Uh... He's obviously looking for a mobile quarterback. Matt Ryan's not a mobile quarterback. Um, he's, he's just not. Like, he isn't very injury prone, I guess, but I don't know. Like, he just can't move around is all I'm trying to say. Arthur Smith wants to use more bootleg play action and all this fancy little mobile quarterback stuff. And then the last thing is pretty obvious. Um, like, obviously, we have a quarterback to develop right now. You don't want to just give up on Desmond Ritter. Um, I think he's shown enough to help him grow. Or, well, let me rephrase that. Like, he's he's shown enough potential to at least give him a chance for next year as the starter. Uh, there's all these people kind of, like, comparing his uh, rookie stats to Matt Ryan's rookie stats. Like, oh, you know, like, look at how Matt Ryan started in his rookie year and Desmond Ritter. So... This is proof that just because you're not starting great doesn't mean that you won't be great and stuff like that. But beyond that stuff, like, I, I think Desmond Ritter fits this system better than Matt Ryan because, for one, he's mobile. And two, uh, I think the traits are there. Like, you know, he has a lot of confidence. That's just one trait. But two, um, like I've been saying with the other videos, he has a quick release. I really appreciate that. 
Um, his mo he's a, a quicker quarterback than I thought he was. I knew he was mobile, but like it seems like every time he runs, compared to how Marcus Mariota ran, he's noticeably a lot faster. Uh, I think he has a kind of an underrated, you know, zip on the ball. I think his throws are actually kind of quick. He just kind of needs to figure his ac fix his accuracy. Um, and well, he's a rookie. Like you obviously can't just give up on him. Uh, so I think it's pretty obvious that the Falcons are either going to stick with Desmond Ritter or maybe just go for another mobile quarterback. But I think they're probably just going to stick with Desmond Ritter. That's my guess. Um, but I don't think you bring in Matt Ryan. Um, now, maybe you could bring him in just to retire his jersey, but that's about it. <laughs> um, but uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I will see you guys with a video this Tuesday at 11 o'clock AM Eastern. Love and appreciate you all for the support. And as always, rise up.